if uh, anantara in case you have not heard of the uh, this company name you grow capital uh, it's not your fault actually it's a new company uh, the story over there is that this stock was earlier known as chokhani securities and it was a nbfc and later on uh, financial services veteran sachindra nath who was ex uh, group ceo of relegian enterprises took over the company the last one and a half uh, years has been restructuring uh, this company raising funds because they aim to be a sme centric nbfc uh, you know yes nbfc is a difficult word right now to talk in the market and conduct business uh, then of course 900 crores 950 crores were raised by mr sachindranath under ugro capital and some of the finest uh, investors uh, family office uh, people have invested in the qip etc and preferential allotment uh, a lot of senior executives from kotak yes bank all of them have joined mr sachindranath in ugro capital so it's a new company it's listed now under the name of ugro capital it's a low volume stock around 200 rupees a share uh, uh, sub 200 crore and mcap but aims to have a uh, sme centric lending book of over 10000 crore in next 4 5 years and some marquee investors have actually come in so how exactly do they aim to go about doing this and what's the plan of ugro capital uh, earlier known as uh, chokhani securities none other than the man himself uh, mr sachindranath is here today in our studios to talk more about that uh, mr sachindranath thank you very much and nice to see you in your new avatar thank in you. our studios thank uh, you congratulations you set up this company talk to us about the big plan you have uh, especially in the light of fresh money which is there uh, uh, on your books right now and who are these big hna investors if you give us some color on who have yeah. uh, uh, participated so ajay actually a uh, majority of our money has been raised by institutional capital uh, so we raised around 958 crore of capital of which i would say the family offices contrib have contributed around 50 crore and rest is all institutional money so it's a combination of five large private equity funds uh, large domestic institutions insurance companies and some family offices so i think the ugro is is an assimilation of aspiration of professional sets of people i have always said and believed that in india saraswati and lakshmi are two different uh, the other goddess who don't sit together and i was i am tried to bring them them together capital on one side and professional expertise on the other side an idea was to build in long term institutional platform backed by institutional capital and grow in the in the highly under penetrated sme market while at this point of time this might sound uh, uh, while nbfc is all hammering mm -hmm. but at the end of the day our belief is that there is a 700 billion dollar of credit gap for smes in india and smes predominantly need solution oriented lending solution or a lending facility and for that you need to build core expertise you don't have to chase size and growth mm -hmm. but you have to go and solve that problem and that's our aspiration so what's the potential looking like right now Uh, with the kind of capital you have on your books right now uh, the next 3 4 5 years uh, people who are watching this interview right now what kind of picture would you like to draw to them what was the pitch you made to your marquee investors when you were raising this money for the business plan three things so look uh, almost everything in financial services in my previous uh, professional journey i have done my view as far as non bank finance companies concerned that three things Uh, any nbfc which is not a bank uh, has to be specialized has to build some uh, core expertise around itself it doesn't have to chase big size rather it has to chase value it has to chase and solve some problem so what we designed ourselves so we divide nbfc in three part consumer sme and wholesale we said that sme is the large market under penetrated for banks uh, it is difficult to uh, penetrate and solve their problem second we said that we will build a knowledge based business so it's a combination of knowledge and technology we did almost one and a half year of deep research work out of 170 sectors of sme market we ended up saying that we will expertise create expertise around eight sectors and we will go and solve sme's lending problem around these eight sectors in around 50 sub sectors mm -hmm. uh, so that's the core to our business model i think so the potential or the opportunity is large uh, it is the question of how much you want to take it uh, and it's a liability side business nbfc per se in initial years have to show resilience have to show a quality of book have to show process technology so it takes a a uh, year or so to build all of that once you have done that and once the broader market have comfort around you uh, then obviously you can grow to any size 
also we have focused deeply around governance uh, so f first very few things this is probably the only financial services institution which is starting wherein the majority of the board would remain independent uh, for life of this company so our article of association has been changed and we have mandated that the majority of this board would always be independent director the sets of people we have bought on the board are all marquee names who have deep expertise and experience uh, roughly around 250 years of combined management expertise we have brought in so it's a three year of really deep hard effort uh, which which has uh, which has turned us into this Hi, Mr. Nath. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is Nantara joining in from uh, New Delhi. In fact, used to meet you when you were here in your earlier avatar with uh, Rally Gare for press conferences, etc. But Mr. Nath, you know, the timing of uh, your announcement and your entry is very interesting. It's at a time, and like, you know, Ajay was also pointing out, the entire sector is under a cloud. Uh, we in New Delhi keep hearing murmurs about how the RBI may clamp down, how the finance ministry is looking at new regulations. We've heard news about how securitization uh, may come in, banks may be asked to pick up NBSC securitization. Uh, uh, you're a very brave person, but uh, how are you de-risking from that? Then there are, I would say three things. One, uh, obviously when we build our business plan and when I was in the market to raise capital, I had no clue that what has happened now would have happened. Uh, so, uh, so we raised, uh, we, uh, raised our capital in, or closed all of our transactions in the month of July. But somehow, I always have believed that lending is a liability side business. It's not an asset side business because the asset side opportunity in India is quite large. And to that extent, you know, not reacting to the current market situation, uh, we have built our business plan predominantly keeping the liability as focus. So reason why I personally sacrifice and get got diluted down on day one, but raise full 950 crores of capital because you need sustainable, sizable capital to build a lending platform. We said that we would continue to be only into the prime segment of the market. We said in our business plan that we will not do fast leverage uh, and we will lever only over a period of time. Now, some of this is actually contrary to the equity side of the business because low leverage means low ROE, is, uh, which means low uh, price to book multiple. But I have always believed that capital market is smarter than most of the investors. If you build a business which is sustainable, which is for perpetuity and which is for long term, market would appreciate that. Uh, second, I, I would say that, you know, fortunately for us, we are sitting on cash. We have not started our disbursement. Uh, so current market is opening up more opportunity. Actually, the pricing is getting harder. It also, obviously, we are also as nervous as anybody else because end of the day, if this crisis continues for more than 12 months, more than 15 months, more than 18 months, nobody would get excluded from this, including us. But to some extent, we are better off than uh, probably a few others uh, in the market. All right, uh, Mr. Nath, we'll wish you all the very best then on your endeavor. Good luck and we hope to catch you more often now, right here on ET now in your new avatar. Uh, thank you for joining in. Ajay, to you as well. Thanks so much for giving us a flavor and introducing Ugro Capital to our viewers.